Hi, right, Derek from Good Times Marine. I'm sitting in the Formosa factory. I'm actually sitting in a Formosa 595. This is one of our boats being constructed at the moment. And I thought it'd be a great, op great opportunity to have a look at what goes on under the floor because these boats are massive, they're wide, they're super deep, and no one really knows much what the hidden secrets are underneath the floor. So let's take a look through this 595 and see what goes to creating the structure of the hull of a Formosa. The way Formosa set up their structure in their boat is to run stringers like what a lot of the plate boat guys do, but they're done in a different way. Instead of them sitting up high and then eventually becoming the structure for the floor to sit on, what Formosa have done is run these big box section rectangle stringers. They've formed them to shape the bottom of the hull and weld them in. Now, these stringers aren't just there for strength. They're actually there for water ballast as well. So one of the options in Formosa is to have water ballast system and the brilliant part about that is when you're stable, it adds a whole lot of extra weight down the bottom of the boat to help the boat stay even more solid than they're already designed to be. So this is the high impact part of the hull. This is the, the bow, which is gonna take the hits and the beatings, and you can see it's absolutely solid as a rock with this structure in here with the string system. So not only do you have the, the longitudinal two of them running, meeting up the tip of the bow, but you've got these transverse um, stringer here, which is also an unusual thing to see in an aluminum boat. So you can imagine how much structure this is creating to support the hull and because of its width, it's just massive, huge amount of footprint uh, to give support when you're taking those hits. Once the stringers are welded into the boat, the next thing that goes in are these cross sections of sheet which are called bulkheads. Now, the bulkheads have a few different jobs. One of the jobs is to create separation in the hull, so where you've got fuel tank, you've got kill tanks, um, and the other thing that goes in underneath the floor is all the foam. So these bulkheads provide a set area to stop the foam from moving around underneath the floor. One of the other key things it does is to provide support to the floor frame. Now, these bulkheads are what the floor frame sits on. And once that floor frame goes in and with the bulk hems in there, that creates a lot of stiffness in the hull. That stops any twisting and warping of the hull. You can imagine it basically locks everything up. So you've got this incredible rigid structure based off the stringers to the bulkheads and then with the floor frame locked in. It means this, the structure of this boat is incredibly strong and robust. Hopefully now you've got a pretty good idea of what's underneath these hulls, the secret ingredients that go to make these boats so incredibly strong. Typically you see the Formosa photos and videos of the boats punching through crazy waters and, uh, and wave jumping and whatnot. And you don't really think about what's involved in, in keeping the boat strong and uh, able to stand up to it time and time again. So now you understand the water ballast system, the way the stringers are constructed and the bulkheads and the way the floor locks in. It all comes together to make this boat one of the toughest Australian built boats on the market today. Come down, Good Times Marine would love to price up one of your Formosas that's going to suit what you're looking for in a new boat. And I think you'll be very, very impressed with how they perform.